Uh, is this um, obviously your initial reaction to that confidence vote? Think I can guess? <laughs> yes, naturally. Delighted, but not surprised. Um, and, of course, it was a bit of an own goal, really, for Labour. And when you have one of your own MPs saying that they would like a Labour government, but not with a current leader as Prime Minister, that's hardly reassuring. And um, what is this offer? How serious is this offer from the Prime Minister? Does it come with conditions that her red lines uh, are still there? Do... Well, it wasn't the Prime Minister who was setting conditions. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn, in fact, said he would effectively only uh, attend uh, discussions with the Prime Minister if she was willing to rule out a no deal. Now, there are three potential outcomes, a deal, no deal and no Brexit. The House had an opportunity last night to vote for a deal that would have delivered us uh, exit from the European Union in a smooth way. Uh, the law as it stands now is that the European treaties will fail to apply to the United Kingdom on the 29th of March. In other words, we will be outside the EU unless we find an agreement before that. The Prime Minister said that she wanted to do that, to discuss what areas of cooperation there might be. But we know what the, some of the problems are. We know that another referendum would take a lot of time. It would be very divisive. We know that a customs union wouldn't allow us to have an independent trade policy. But the Prime Minister said she will listen and talk to leaders starting tonight. So to be clear, she's not going to rule out no deal tonight? Well, the, the House has, in effect, kept no deal on the table by its decision last night and MPs need to understand that actions have consequences and what they did last night means that that no deal is still a, pot a potential possibility. So is she willing to talk about the idea of a permanent customs union? Well, there's, the Prime Minister will explore them but the other party leaders have to understand what the consequences of those would be. The Labour Party have said they want a customs union, but one which enables them to have a tr an independent trade policy. That's not possible. If you're in a customs union, you will have a common external tariff applied to you. They say they want a customs union that enables them to have a say on Europe's trade policy, something that's explicitly forbidden in EU rules and law. Okay, so well, it doesn't make any well, sense. Well, we'll say those frills go, and it is just a customs union relationship like Turkey. It is possible. You don't like that. Would you resign if, if the Prime Minister chose to go in that direction? Well, we're just having discussions with other party leaders, having just won a confidence vote. It's not a time to be discussing. No, but you lost, resigning. come on, you lost. A, a, a record. I mean, you probably never thought when you were going to be an MP that you'd be part of a government that would set a record like you set last night, the biggest defeat by a government in history. Well, we've also had one of the biggest victories in terms of votes in history. It's, it, these are interesting and unusual times. Um, Grant Shapps, your former chairman, saying that uh, actually, though you have won this conference vote tonight, the logic of the impasse here is that we're heading for an election sooner or later. There'll be more nights like this with conference votes, uh, and at some point, some of your colleagues won't choose to show confidence in the Prime Minister. Oh, I don't think you can assume that whatsoever. Um, the, uh, the way that we have the five-year Parliament Act now is that MPs can vote, could vote against any government on a specific issue but support the government separately in a confidence vote because they're delinked in a way that they weren't before. We have a bifurcated system. I don't happen to like uh, the five-year Parliament Act, but that's the basis on which our Parliament operates at the moment. If we do leave on the basis of no deal, do you really think that that was the argument put at the referendum? Do you really think that people were told that in Cabinet you'll have to start discussing tariffs soon? We were told that there'd be no tariffs, everything would be the same. There's going to have to be changes at Dover, there's going to be border, uh, border uh, facilities and all that sort of checks. Was that really how this was sold to the British people? Well, we could have had an exit that avoided all those problems if the House had voted for the Prime Minister's agreement last night. The House of Commons chose not to do that. It now has to deal with the consequences. OK, and then ju and just lastly, are you, so you are open. I mean, it, your colleague David Gork today said that there was... It didn't want to be boxed in, that the customs union... Leaving the customs union is only the starting point. So you agree that it's up for discussion. The customs union membership is up for discussion in these cross-party talks that the Prime Minister wants to have tonight? Well, I'm sure there'll be discussions about it, and, but we have set out, I set out on Monday in the House of Commons, the disadvantages of 
of the alternatives to the Prime Minister's agreement. One of them was that a customs union would not allow us to have an independent trade policy, which is one of the key benefits that we get from leaving the European Union. Well, one last point. There's extraordinary procedural stuff happening in this place right now, from the Speaker and everything. The initiative from Nick Bowles and Sir Oliver Letwin, your respected colleagues, for this place to sort of seize control of the order paper for a day at least, uh, what do you make of that and the, perhaps the reality that some of your own fellow cabinet ministers back it? The, uh, there is a constitutional separation in this country. The executive, that is the government, brings forward legislation. The House of Commons scrutinises it. The idea that the House of Commons should be able to bring forward the legislation and scrutinise it seems to me to be a long way from the constitutional settlement in this country.